Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I will show you, how to design a modern K letter logo, by using grid, and also I will show you, how to add gradient color in this logo. For fine gradient colors code, you need to watch the full video. So, make sure to watch carefully to the end, and then write in the comments section the most valuable information, that you find in this tutorial, and don't forget to subscribe my channel. So let's start the video. First take a line segment tool, and give it stroke color. Now copy the lines tool by hold alter. For more line copies, hold control and pressing D. Now select all lines, and make it vertical align center. Now group it. Go to edit, and select copy, again go to edit and select paste in place. You can a slow copy shortly by press, Ctrl C plus Ctrl F. Now rotate it. Take an ellipse, and draw a circle like that. Make the circle smaller like that. You can a slow copy shortly by press, Ctrl C plus Ctrl F. Select all objects. And keep one copy it. For copy, hold alter. Select the objects. Take a shape builder tool. Draw like that, do it carefully. This is look fat, so now we make it slim. For that, go to object, and select path, and then the select offset path. Select that, and take shape builder tool, and delete the extra part of the main design. For delete, you need to hold alter button. Ok, that's fine. Now the design, click mouse right button, select transform and then select reflect. Look that, this is our logo. Now we need to colorize the logo, and make some shadow. Most of people make shadow by using, pen tool. But today I'm using different ways. So keep watching.
see that, this is our shadow parts. Now we copy the shadow parts and move it from the main design. And select the main design, and make it united. Ok, that's good. Now select the shadow parts, and at the main design perfectly. Note. I move the shadow parts 10 pints right, now we back the same 10 pints, and then the shadow is being perfectly. Now, we give gradient colors in this logo. Take a rectangle tool, and draw equal to the artboard. Send it to back, and give the back color. We can see our shadow parts. Now we select our shadow parts, and reduce its opacity. That's make it real shadow. Look that, this is our final design. So thank you for your attention, I hope, I helped with this video. So don't forget to comment with valuable information, that you find it. Push the like button, and subscribe my channel if you didn't yet. See you in another video.